Welcome along guys, well we're on the L, we're only on the SV650X You may have seen it lurking in the back of my garage <laughs> On some of the garage videos, we're actually out on it today I've had this for about, about three weeks from Suzuki now I've ridden it a fair few times as well And the reason I've been out on this a fair few times Is because it's fantastic fun The X stands for fun uh, oh, excellent. <laughs> So this isn't just any SV650, this is the 2018 SV650X. The X is the retro styled calf racer SV. So this has got the round headlight, the drop look bars, all the black switch gear. You know, it's got a little, little cow. I know the looks of this thing do divide opinion. So the SV650, it was always one of those bikes which was off my radar. Being a larger guy, you know, 650s and, and, and below 600cc bikes have not been something I've really shown much interest in. I've been more about your thousands, your sports bikes, your super naked, so I have to be honest. So when Suzuki offered me the little SV650X for a couple of weeks, I was like, yeah, okay, we'll give it a go. I'm not expecting too much. But what a great little bike, what a surprise it's been to borrow a bike like this and just fall in love with the thing. The suspension is, okay, I mean, it is, this bike costs £6,200, so, you know, the suspension isn't top of the line. Normally the SV650 has unadjustable suspension on the front, this has preload and rebound adjusters. These aren't upside down forks, these are conventional way up forks. So let's pull over somewhere and just have a little look at her. Let me just show her off to you, see what you think to this retro inspired styling. Round headlight, 70s inspired cowl. I mean it won't be everyone's cup of tea, let's be honest, but it's not. I think they've done well with the colour. I like this black and silver colour scheme really nice and there's a real nice little bit of fleck in the paintwork there the exhaust is nice i mean they put you know for a euro 4 box a can they've styled it quite nicely so the differences between this and the standard sv as i mentioned this has adjustable front forks conventional normal way up forks uh, obviously the round headlight this this paintwork the black levers it also has this sort of uh, quilted effect seat, which looks like it's going to be uncomfortable. It looks like there's not much padding there. But bringing this back from Suzuki HQ a couple of weeks ago, I did 150 miles and it's absolutely fine. It's really comfortable, that seat. There's, there's no problem about the seat there. The bars are dropped. The pegs are the standard height, but they're, they're, they feel like they're a little bit high. But even for me, 6.2, it's, it's perfectly comfortable. It's perfectly comfortable. But it's, you know, it's it's just such a fun. This chassis and this V-twin engine are absolutely spot on. I don't care what it looks like. <laughs> Those drop bars, that riding position with that engine and that chassis, it's a lot of fun. Let's hit the road. It is confidence inspiring and in it with its handling. I guess it's because it's so predictable. And because it is a weight, you know, it is weighty, 198 kilos, it is, for a little bike, it is weighty, but it does make it stable. It does make it very, very stable and predictable. Line up your corners. It lays down into them beautifully. I think a novice rider could get one of these and they could really learn a lot about bikes and bike and riding quickly because it's the sort of bike which is so forgiving so stable but it, it, and then again it's it just got lovely setup handling as an a2 bike this makes a lot of sense why people buy cb 500s and stuff when you can get one of these <laughs> i don't know I'm always saying this, but mechanically, Suzuki's are just gorgeous. They're just absolutely gorgeous. The gearboxes, just the way everything works, you know, the, the clutches don't drag, they always engage nice. 
always a lovely feel to the clutch as you release you can't fault them mechanically the Japanese know what they're doing and they know how to build a motorcycle wind protection yeah you've got a little there's nothing really <laughs> you've got this little cow but the things which I find a bit odd is these mirrors they sweep back quite a lot and I've wanted to adjust them and, and move them forward but I think that's how they're designed to be and then you have this little piece which sticks up just to give you that little bit of rear visibility so the mirrors are a bit odd I, I may like to move those forward a bit but I think they're like that to, to keep the look of the bike oh you're in our way we want to unleash the little SV here unleash the beast it feels like you're being naughty even though you're not really I named the Edgar because you keep egging me on to go faster you're naughty you're naughty Edgar it's not my fault officer it's, it's Edgar that doesn't say slow in Edgar's mind that says fast faster faster the display is the same clocks as used on the GSX S750 I'm sure of it, it's very similar, I mean there's no electronics on this there's no modes, there's just got ABS as a legal requirement, that's it it's super basic, no traction control you, know, you don't need it with this sort of engine it's so tractable it's not going to suddenly kick you off and spit out the back it, it's, it's just not, you just don't need it, it's unnecessary on this sort of bike this is just raw, fun motorcycling watch the grits it's the time of year when the roads the sun comes out and you think you can ride at the same speed you were riding last year but the roads are still pretty dirty to be really careful Edgar doesn't care though, he loves it he loves it, he does <sighs> One naughty boy. Oh, what a fun little motorcycle. Three, and we're stopping. We're going back round, we're going around doing that again. Fit and finish is typical Suzuki. It's good. Um, actually, I was going to say it, they can look a little bit cheap in places, but really on this, there's no areas where it stands out as looking cheap. The top yoke, black top yoke, it looks very nice. All the black levers, the switch gear is always good on Suzuki's. There's no areas where you think, oh, that's a bit nasty. It's, it's really not. Okay, it's got 72 brake horsepower. You know, it's not masses of power. But on the road, what that means is you have a bike you can use to its fullest and there's a lot to be said rather than feathering and and, and fanning around on a, on, a, on a litre bike trying to use as much power as you can to actually have something lower capacity like this and be able to give it a proper gunning <laughs> so my only criticisms with this bike is the front brake the chassis, the engine, it, it's eggs you on into such a position that the front brake needs to be a little bit better. It's the weak point out of the three things, out of the handling, out of the power, that the brakes are a bit weak. You, you, it was something you can throw about and, and be tempted to go so fast on, you really want brakes which you can deliver a little bit more. So if it was mine, I'd probably sit get some braided lines on it change the uh, the pads to something a bit more grippy just to give you a little bit more bite it's just a little bit wooden it's fine I mean, there's nothing wrong with the lever position the bite is okay but as you pull them they're just a little bit wooden Woo! that's a rev editor 
That's the hog. <laughs> It's such fun, it is such fun. And I'll leave you with that.